Before I get started with this weather update, I just want to go over uh, what my <laughs> uh, friend PNW Elevator said about these kind of subjects. This prickly subject, that's why you're looking at prickly pear cactus here. Uh, but um, I want to speak about PNW Elevator because, as many of you know, he deleted his channel. Uh, and I've known about this for a while, that, that he was going to do this. Uh, he didn't. I don't think he wants people to make a big deal out of this. Uh, but, you know, he'd been going through some rough times in his life. Uh, and he needed to make a change uh, so he can focus on other things in his life that he's getting involved in. Uh, with school and careers and 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 his you know he's very involved with uh, the transit history you know not only was he an elevator channel but he also devoted a lot to transit to buses in particular uh, and he he was a great youtuber uh, he will be missed but understand that he had to make this decision because it, it was better for him to do this you know this is part of the reason why I made the decision to say I can't really do the kinds of transit updates that I used to be able to provide uh, and as you know I want this channel to be about weather and, uh, and, and environment and, and nature videos I can't deal with the stress I've done all that I can do at this point as I said in the other video about uh, you know making a difference with the Long Island Railroad and New York politics and the discrimination all that stuff but getting back to PNW Elevator uh, he you know he he just had to make this change because um, he wasn't he wasn't happy with the direction YouTube is heading in, and I agree, and I completely understand why he had to close his channel down. Uh, and uh, you know, it would have been nice if he at least kept it up so people could watch videos. But you know, you know, this is his channel; he can do what he wants. Uh, and uh, you know, he has to. You have to understand where he's coming from. He doesn't want to have to go through comments. He just wants to put this chapter behind him. You know, YouTube. The direction YouTube has been heading in is not a good one. Uh, it is a direction toward a pop culture. Uh, you know, they are trying to force out the smaller YouTubers. Uh, they're making it very hard for people to make money. Uh, YouTube is becoming uh, another corporate mouthpiece, unfortunately. Uh, certainly not the kind of uh, vision that the founders of YouTube had, for sure. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I don't want to get into too much on this. Again, I've taken up enough time as it is. I don't think PNW Elevator wanted me to make a big deal out of this either. But understand, I do understand, he will be missed. Uh, you know, YouTube is much le a much darker place without him. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, but I don't want to spend too much time on, on, on this. But understand, once again, that PNW Elevator made this change uh, because he felt he needed to do something so his life could be better. All right? Uh, and he's going through some rough times. He's going through many of the same kind of discrimination and bullying that I've gone through and other people have gone through because we're different. Uh, but understand that he's just moving on to some things in his life that will bring him joy uh, and focusing on his education, focusing on his career, uh, and focusing on uh, what he enjoys to do. Uh, you know, so uh, that is going to be it on this. Uh, but again, uh, PNW Elevator, if you're watching this, you will be missed. You are a great YouTuber and a good friend of mine. I, I want to stay in touch with you as well. Uh, and uh, good luck with your next step in your new journey in life. Anyway, let's get started with this weather update. All right, let's get started with this weather update. Uh, we are looking at a satellite image here, infrared satellite loop, and you see we had some sunshine today. So the clouds kind of broke up for some sunshine, not a nice blue sky, but we definitely saw the sun. Uh, and we'll be seeing more of that tomorrow, actually. So let's go ahead and look at the MODIS satellite here, high-resolution satellite. You can see tropical activity here again. We're going to have to go over that here. Uh, we'll start off in the Pacific, I guess, because we have some more storms in the Pacific. So we'll go to the Pacific first, we'll get that over with here. Uh, yes, we have Norman here, which is a hurricane, already a hurricane. Uh, winds up to 105 miles an hour, so uh, and it's Category 2. And it's moving west at 12 knots, at 14 miles an hour. Uh, so that's Norman, and this is a Tropical Depression. So that's what you're seeing right here. This is Norman, and it looks extremely healthy and probably will strengthen quite a bit. Uh, and then we have this, too. The Pacific has just been going off like crazy this whole year, where this, the Atlantic has been kind of quiet. However, that is now beginning to change. Uh, we are now seeing, let me pull this out a little bit, you'll see we have our first Cape Verde storm of the season here. Uh, and this is Florence. This is Florence. So if we go and we look at Florence, 
uh, you will see Florence is a tropical storm and it has a uh, maximum stain winds of 45 miles an hour uh, so uh, this is it right here Florence so we'll have to keep a watch on it it should go I mean, we'll have to look at the models because it's really uh, you know it's a ways off as to where this thing is gonna go but we are starting to see uh, things heat up a little bit in the Atlantic as we usually do because it is now September uh, and I do want to actually go over another weather update uh, uh, the summer, uh, the climatological summer to statistics, but that's not going to be in this weather update. All right, so um, not much smoke. Uh, I don't see much smoke, so it looks like those fires might be under control. I don't see a lot of smoke here. A little bit, but certainly a lot less. A lot less. Uh, the only areas that I see some smoke is from California. Not too much there. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be getting an airflow out of Canada anytime soon. Uh, we go ahead and we look toward the forecast. All right, so uh, we're going to actually go and look at the models here. First of all, I want to go over the conditions today before we go to the models. Uh, starting to get a little more humid out there. We'll just look at Farmingdale. 69, uh, 69 degrees at Farmingdale, dew point 64. Uh, but it's been cool. For the most part, we've had highs in the 70s. It's been cool. It's uh, pretty comfortable. I've actually managed to get in some, even though it's been kind of cloudy and not really great weather, go to the Pine Barrens. Uh, I have been actually been able to get in some walking around. So, you know, it's just Get out there, walk around if you can, because it's going to be hot once this week comes. So let's get to that right now. We're going to take a look at the models. So uh, we're going to start with the GFS, and you'll see that the ridge is here in place, uh, and that ridge, unfortunately, isn't going anywhere. So going into the week, things start heating up, the ridge starts building in, and you see that the cool air just doesn't come uh, even here. It just stays to the north uh, with that ridge just deflecting it. Uh, so we're going to go into, uh, we're looking at the whole week here, and there's no real change in this uh, pattern that we're in. Uh, and you can see, it looks like maybe we do have some high pressure trying to build in, like I said, mid-September. Maybe some dry air in there. That could be, whoops, I do apologize for that. That could be Florence right there. So I don't know if that's Florence or that's another system. I'd have to actually go ahead and look at the... Uh, we can actually change the region this is in, but I, I don't want to do that just yet because I want to show you the uh, dew points. They'll show you where the humidity is. All right, so we'll show you the dew points again, and you can see as we go into, you can see the dew points start coming up, and you see, look at that. You know, the same story, eastern half of the country in real, in real humid air, and we're going to get back into it this week, and we're going to be struggling again with it again. Uh, maybe next weekend, you see we might get another backdoor type of front situation like what we had this weekend. Um, and then the humidity comes back again. Uh, and uh, we, we may not see relief until uh, uh, mid-September at this point. That ridge, that ridge just doesn't, you can see the ridge clearly, it doesn't want to go anywhere. Uh, this is the problem that we're dealing with. Um, let me look at the temperature anomaly here. And you can also look at the temperature anomaly to show you where the warm, the, you know, temperatures are above normal. You can see we've got above normal in the east all week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and maybe we go close to average by next weekend. Uh, but then the above normal comes back. So it's all because of that damn ridge. You can see maybe it, this looks like a strong cold front right here. So maybe, maybe we get relief then. But, I mean, that's September 17th. I mean, this is ridiculous. This just doesn't end. It doesn't end. So we're going to go and uh, look at the regions here. We're going to go a little closer into our region. Well, yeah, first I've got to show you, yeah, the North Atlantic. All right, we'll look at the tropics, see what, the, see what it's going to do with that model here. All right, so see what it's going to do with the Florence. That's what I want to see. So that's Florence right there. Um, yeah, it recurves it out to sea. Does it curve it out to sea? Yes, it does. All right, good. All right, good. So it keeps it out to sea, but this is a long ways off. Uh, you know, any, a lot of things can change between now and then. Uh, but I was curious to see what it would do with Florence. Uh, it's way, way in the, you know, it's just, it's just getting started with that, you know. Let's go into the area, into our area, and look at what kind of temperatures we're going to be dealing with here. So let's go into the temperatures. We'll look at temperatures, and we'll look at the uh, humidity levels is too. So uh, again, temperatures today in the 70s. Tomorrow things are going to heat up a little closer to 80, I think. Um, but still not bad tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably still be decent. Uh, but it's when we head into Monday, Labor Day, things are going to start getting hotter. And you can see some 90s on the map already, particularly in New Jersey. Uh, probably 80s over Long Island. Uh, 
Uh, and then as we go into Tuesday, it gets even hotter. Again, we're going to be dealing with temperatures around 90 on Long Island and in the mid-90s in New Jersey. And, yeah, we're back to this brutal heat again. Uh, and then Wednesday, it backs off a little bit on Long Island uh, with 80s. And then over Jersey, it's still going to be 90s. Jersey is going to be in the 90s, probably another heat wave probably for them. Hopefully not us, not officially anyway. And then look at Thursday. Again, same deal again. 90s over Jersey, uh, but uh, over Long Island we should be spared, hopefully. Uh, they'll indicate there's a sea breeze. And then you could see it looks like there's a pretty strong backdoor call front trying to come through uh, for the weekend. And yeah, that, that could be pretty cool. Uh, it could be pretty cool weather. But I have a feeling there'll be a lot of clouds around. So actually, let me look at that. I, mean, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of clouds. Let's just see for next week. Yeah. You can see that, and I like showing the clouds because it shows that the front stalled out. It just you know, you know, just can't have clear, a nice, clear uh, day with uh, with low humidity. Except, except what we had last Thursday, that was it. Hardly had any. We're going to talk about that in the summer. In the summer, I'm going to probably do a video sometime within the next couple of days on the summer as a whole. But this is just looking ahead for the next week. All right. So now we go. We look at the dew points. Um, and you'll see the dew points will come up tomorrow. You'll see it starts getting a little more humid already. Uh, and then as we go into Monday, we're dealing with dew points again. 70 degrees or higher. Same thing for Tuesday. So it's going to feel like close to 100 in certain spots. Uh, most likely in New Jersey. We might be spared on Long Island from that, hopefully. And then you can see, oh, yeah, look at when. This almost looks like a little backdoor front trying to move through on Wednesday. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. That looks like almost like a backdoor front that might be trying to develop you know uh, so yeah this weather is crazy uh, and then and then we get into some lower dew points and let me explain to you again why this is because I'm gonna wrap it up with this last part here I'm gonna go back to this and we're gonna look at the jet stream and explain to you once again what the problem is uh, all right here we go so this is what the problem is we're, the jet stream is wavy. It's diffuse. I mean, literally, it's look how diffuse it is. It's supposed to be a tightly packed area of high winds, and it's it's a mess. It's a mess. And this is this is these are this this is what steers the weather pattern. So we have no steering going on. Look at how wavy it is, uh, and this is the problem that we're going through right now. And this is why we're stuck with that ridge. That's wh that's why we're stuck with the ridge. And we can't seem to get into a normal weather pattern. Uh, and we don't know when there's an end in sight or if there's ever going to be an end in sight, I hope there is. Uh, but this is the longest period of having to deal with that ridge. I mean, we've been dealing with it now in some form for months already. It, it, it's just, it, it's, it's, and this is because of the jet stream. It looks a little more normal as we go toward the end of the period. You start to see a little more of a west to east flow to move things along. But, uh, you know, this is uh, toward the long range, right? And, you know, models change a lot over time. Uh, they're not, you know, they're toward the end of the period, they're not always the most accurate. But anyway, uh, so this is what we're dealing with right now. So it's going to be a brutal week, uh, and I'll keep you updated on it. Uh, and that is going to conclude this weather update.